Well, let's take a look at this story now. Former VBS Chief Financial Officer Philip Trotter has been sentenced to 10 years in prison and three years which have been suspended. Effectively, he'll serve a seven years in jail. He pleaded guilty to fraud, corruption, money laundering and racketeering charges. Trotter admitted to the charges and will now also turn a state witness. It will be against his former VBS colleagues who've pleaded not guilty. It's encouraging in the fact that it uh, strengthens our case as we look forward to the trial. Of course, corruption is a very difficult um, phenomenon to investigate. So you need, because people inside corruption, they are very close. So you need one of them to break ranks in order to deal with it effectively. And in this particular case, we have Mr. Truter, who has now pleaded guilty, as you saw, and also undertaken to assist the state uh, in proving its case against the rest of the accused who will be appearing at this court again tomorrow morning. Well, for reaction to the sentence, we're joined by Chief Livuwa Nimazila of the Radzambo Cultural F Foundation. Uh, good evening and thank you so much for, for your time on News at Prime. Before we get into some of the plans that you are initiating to try and revive a bank that will effectively do what VBS did for the local community, your own reflection on, 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 on the uh, sentencing of Philip Trotter and the fact that he has now turned state witness. For us as the community, this is a landmark judgment, um, you know, that uh, sends a very good message that those who looted at VBS uh, Bank uh, will not go unpunished. We welcome it as a very good uh, judgment uh, that begins to uh, restore our confidence on the uh, justice system and uh, the capacity of the law enforcement agencies in the country. So this is very good news for us uh, as a start. You've had time to uh, look at the full impact of what the collapse of VBS has done to local communities. What would you say are, are some of the biggest things that, that have revealed themselves within the last two years that, uh, that it has not been in, exi in existence or it has not been functioning? The, our uh, social uh, support systems uh, and the support we got in, in terms of uh, the funding and financial assistance from uh, VBS collapsed, which meant that we were left uh, much more poorer and poverty levels have gone so much high. And in the circumstances that we are in under COVID, we were hoping that a bank like VBS will, um, you know, lend us some more money, have financial schemes to make sure that we survive throughout. But what we are sitting with is that we have got uh, the victims that are in the form of uh, burial societies and stock fairs and ordinary people who sit without money at all, and they don't know when and how and how much are they going to, to get back in terms of the deposits they made in VBS. So the social crisis that the collapse of VBS has left uh, in, in our communities is huge. It's, it's very uh, difficult for us to cope with the devastating effects of the collapse of the bank. Your trust in the local shareholders forum have been in negotiations with the Reserve Bank uh, to try and revive VBS. They, they seem to be not budging, budging and they said that that license is effectively going to be withdrawn. Is that the case right now? So, so in your efforts to revive VBS, is that even a possibility? We are in agreement with the South African Reserve Bank uh, in terms of the way forward, which is that we are going to go for a new license altogether and start on a clean slate, uh, which means that we are going to put in place uh, prudent mechanisms to ensure that the governance um, protocols of the bank are above board so that we don't repeat the looting and the fraudulent activities that occurred uh, uh, in the former a bank. Uh, that calls uh, for us to make sure that we get people who are competent in running a bank. We then have to do away with uh, former practices where people will get their own friends and accomplices to come and run a complex mechanism of a banking facility. 
a part of what made VBS so successful was that it was an initiative that was uh, driven by the community, but also largely funded by the community. When it comes to capital to get this up and running, where will you be looking to? The capital is there uh, all around us in the community. The community has got uh, so much capital. We've got people who have got uh, businesses that are running. Uh, we, we have got a, a very good uh, financial environment to draw from. And there are also quite some very uh, capable investors who are interested in investing in a bank that belongs to the people. So that aspect of the bank being part of our life as people has got to be restored and sustained. Earlier on this year, you seem to have a very strong view about the role of politics and in particular politicians in that part of the country, uh, especially given those that have been implicated in the VBS uh, looting scandal. Do you still hold that view that uh, the ANC will need to look for votes elsewhere? Under the circumstances uh, where the law enforcement agencies are becoming uh, effective and with much more capacity, we, we are likely to change our mind to support the ruling party in its effort to root out corruption. The biggest problem for us was that uh, there was a view in the last uh, 10 years, so to speak, that the law enforcement agencies and the justice system was, were toothless. Now we can see that they've got teeth and they're biting, and they're biting uh, to the extent that we appreciate the efforts that are taking place. Do you think that there will be any particular arrests that need to take place in order to satisfy yourselves and the community there that in fact justice has been served? Yes, because you see, if you look at the seven years imposed on the former CFO of BBS, at face value, it looks like a life sentence if you look at the impact of the collapse of the bank uh, on our lives as a community. We have suffered so much more that you would want, you know, a, a, a much more years of sentence for that person that played a, a, a significant role of a, as a CFO. But we, we accept that to be a trade-off so that he will assist the state and ourselves as the community to uncover the truth as to what happened to the bank, because one, the truth. In that sense, we are saying that everybody who has been involved in the collapse of the bank must be brought to book, and they must face the consequences of their action. And we are calling on everybody to be honest and come clean so that the process can unfold smoothly so that we come to a better conclusion on the way forward, where people you know, uh, face consequences for their action or lack uh, thereof. And just lastly, in terms of your own processes, processes with the Reserve Bank, how long before um, you are able to set up another mutual bank that will serve that community? That is this discussion we are having with the uh, Reserve Bank. We had a meeting a few days uh, ago where they were taking us uh, stepwise through the detailed process of applying for a bank. We are very excited about it. Uh, it can take us a year or two, but we are ready to comply with their requirements so that by the time we set it up, there will be no repeat or recurrence of what happened with the VBS collapse. Chief Lebuani Matsila of the Radzambo Cultural Foundation, thanks for your time on News at Prime.